time. And now we'd like to show what we know about Prophet uh, Noah. Noah. Uh, alayhi salam. Alayhi salam. Um, this um, play was actually translated from a book um, that that um, that I have, and the less it started from the lessons in class, and then we. Um, I like for for the children to act out things. You know they got it when they can when they can say it, and they can say it back to you. And so a play was just a wonderful way for them to show to show what they know. Um, one a couple of notes about our play. We have narrators of Prophet Noah. We didn't want to have someone be Prophet Noah. We have uh, narrators of what he said. Okay, so um, so we look at we have narrators. Um, so let us let us get started. I'm going to I'm going to um, get started off. Allah blessed the children of Adam. Alayhi salam. For there were many of them. Men and women, boys and girls that spread throughout the land on earth. The children of Adam lived in towns and built many houses. They cultivated the land and grew their own food. All of them followed the religion of their father, Adam. Alayhi salam. They worshipped Allah and did not associate any partners with him. They were all one community. Their father was Adam, alayhi salam, and their Lord was Allah. But how could Shaitan be satisfied with that? Everyone worshiping Allah? Remember that Shaitan refused to obey Allah's command to bow to Adam alayhi salam out of respect, and thus became Shaitan the rejected. He was no longer allowed to be in the company of those nearest to Allah. Ever since, he has vowed to lead the children of Adam astray so they too would enter the fire. Satan wanted to get this children of Adam to, co to commit shirk. He was well aware that Allah does not forgive associated partners with him, but that he forgives others, all other sins, without, without his mercy. So, Shaitan wanted to lead the children of Adam to this one unforgettable act. But how could he do it? He couldn't, he can't tell them directly. Shaitan found a way into the minds of the children of Adam, peace be upon him. There was righteous men who lived amongst them. They worship Allah day and night, praise, praising his name and doing good deeds. They had the respect of people. Shaitan was well aware of this. Time went on and these righteous people passed. At this time, Shaitan went to the children of Adam while they were weeping and asked, do you miss them? Very much. We, we are, are so sad to be without them. Why don't you look at them every day then, Shaitan asked. How do we do that? The children of Adam wondered. Take a, make a image, image of them and look at it every morning, Shaitan just suggested. That's <laughs> a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. The people were pleased with the idea and made images of the righteous people that used to live among them. When they looked at these images, they remembered the good deeds and beautiful character of these righteous people. Mashallah for third grade. Over time, the images became statues, and the children of Adam made many of them, all resembling the righteous. Children grew up seeing their parents adore the statues. Each generation added a little more, and soon the people began prostrating to the statues. This is how the statues became idols. This is how the people came to worship idols instead of worshiping Allah. The names of their idols were Wood, Suwa, Yahud, Yahud, and Nasser. Oh, 
Lord was angry with the people worshiping idols, as this is not what he created people to do. How could they walk on the lost earth and deny that he exists? How could they eat with a law alone provided for them, yet worship others along with the law? The law chose to send Noah a lay to his people. Noah lay was a righteous man. He was generous, intelligent, and patient. He was truthful and honest and gave good advice. He was stand among his people and tell them, I am to you a trustworthy messenger. Day and night, Noah lay Salam tried very hard to get his people to believe in the law and leave the idols. He had the most resistance from the rich and arrogant. We are nobles, and the believers of Noah are poor and lowly. He talked about a law publicly in large gatherings and tried to give the message privately to some close friends. May a law reward prophet Noah lay land because after all that, only a few listened. Most of the people laughed and teased. Some of them said, When did he become a, since when did he become a prophet? Yesterday he was a man amongst us, and today he says he's a messenger of God to you all. When we were little, he used to play with us, and we would sit together every day. But just then when the prophet had come to him at night or during the day. He's on a, he's only a man like us. Isn't there anyone else? Our very forefathers rush up idols, so what is it? He rush up them. No. <laughs> Noah and Laysalam saw that the forefathers were wrong to worship idols and knew that Adam, the Laysalam, the father of all human beings, never worshipped an idol. He only worshipped the law. Noah and Laysalam was insulted, disgraced, humiliated, and made fun of, but continued teaching his people about the one true God, Allah. He told them to look around at all they enjoyed. The warm sun, the bright moon, the blue sky, their food and drink, each a blessing that only Allah gave them. His people deny Allah. Who sends the rain to water your crops? His people deny Allah. Who has made the earth spacious for you? His people deny Allah. Noah alayhi salam's people did not use their intellect and rejected their creator. The people got tired of listening to him and began putting their fingers in their ears so they couldn't hear. calling others to worship Allah. Finally, Allah revealed to him, certainly no more from your people will believe. Only those who have believed in the message already. Noah lay Salam's people told him for the last time. Listen here, Noah. You have evaded with us for so long. Just bring out what you say will happen if you are truthful. <laughs> There and then, Noah Salam became angry for Allah's sake, as not a single one of his people would believe in the one true God, Allah. He prayed, O oh Allah, do not leave a single one of the disbelievers on this earth. Noah and planned to drown the people in a flood. Noah and 
saved in a large ark that Allah commanded to be built. Not a day salam's people saw him building an ark there in the desert and started to laugh and make fun of him. until it almost surrounded the people. There was no protection for them that day. Great. 